Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be doing this half-cut crease look using the ColourPop Superstar Pigment in Lifted, but I did also mention in the video that I purchased all of them, and I'm so excited because I also got to use their new Luster Dust in Strobe Glow. I just think that this is such a pretty and cool look. I don't, I've don't. i done, obviously, half-cut creases before, but I don't know, this is super cool, like purple... It looks like fairy dust on my eyes. So, if you want to learn how to get this look, then please keep on watching. I'm going to start by applying some lip balm. This is, I've been loving this lately, the Bite um, Agave Lip Balm in the balm form. They do have a mask form, like the one you can squeeze out, but this is the balm. And it makes my lips feel so nourished and moisturized and prepares it for any lip product. Let's start by priming our eyelids. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer. I haven't used an Urban Decay um, primer potion primer in a long, long, long time. I remember using it when it fir when I first started using makeup and when it was still in the, like the bottle with the wand. So. That was exciting, and I remember depotting it also and putting it into, like, a little pot. Um, but I know they've come out with, like, different colors since then. And I really want to try Eden, because I know it, like, literally blinks out your eyelid. And you just have, like, a clear canvas to work with. Just make sure you pull the eye primer out. And then I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs Shameless Youthful, Youthful, Youthful Look 24-Hour Foundation in Light Y210. I'm going to shake this really well. And then I'm going to take a little bit and apply it all over my lids. I'm going to be using my Luxie 209 Large Shader. And taking my Beauty Blender, just... Blending this out all over. And I'm going to be taking my Cover FX Matte Setting Powder in light. Taking my Lexi 233 Large Fluff. I'm going to be setting my whole eyelid. I know I usually just set my crease and not my lid, but I'm just going to set my whole lid today. I'm going to take it up to my brows. Okay, so I'm like extremely, extremely, extremely excited. I know I say this in like every single video, but I'm like, I was going to film yesterday, but I decided I didn't want to because I wanted to test out the look first before I went and filmed it. Um, so, as you guys know, um, ColourPop recently launched, what are these called? The Superstar Loose Pigments, and I got all of them. <laughs> I know I'm crazy, but I got all of them. Um, in the little bundle, so I have all of them right here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, like, show you all of them. Okay, I got them. I'm going to be doing a look with the ColourPop Superstar Loose Pigments. Only only one of them, sorry. Um, but if there's a specific color that you'd like me to do a look on, go ahead and comment down below. I'm super excited because um, I haven't used, like, loose shadows, like, pigments um, in a very long time. I feel like sometimes... I stray away from the loose pigments or most people because it gets messy but these are so pretty you guys so pretty and I am doing another half cut crease I just I've been loving it lately I've been feeling the half cut crease um, and I just want to like master it so let us get started I don't even know which one I used yesterday is the thing I found the one I use it's called quicksand it's like a light pink purpley color um, I love that these are loose because you can also use these on your body if you'd like um, because they do come in lighter colors as well, so. Use a couple eye palettes. Um, I am going to be using the ColourPop Pretty Much palette. It's the smaller um, eyeshadow palette that they have. Looks like this. It's so pretty. And then I use two of the Dose of Color palettes, which I've been loving. I have used Fake Browns and Marvelous Mobs. So I'm going to first go in with the Dose of Colors Baked Browns. And I'm going to be taking Desert and Outdoorsy. Desert and Outdoorsy. I'm going to mix, mix those together. <laughs> mix those together to bring in a little bit of warmth to the eye look. I'm using my Morphe M504. So I'm just going to start in the middle of my eye and then blend it back and forth. And it's okay if it gets on the eyelid, just because we are going to use concealer to carve out the inner 
corner of the eyes anyways. So just keep blending. I love these Dose of Colors Baked Browns. Oh, you're gonna get this or you can stop wherever you'd like it just like a I just want it to warm up the look really well and then I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop pretty much palette and I'm gonna be taking this color right here the second row in, in the middle I, I'm pretty sure it's called cool it this um, matte purpley color I'm also going to mix it with the dose of colors marvelous mauves in spaced out. You don't have to, but um, I kind of wanted it to like be a little deeper in shade, so that's why I mixed both of them, but obviously if you don't want to, you don't have to. I'm going to be taking my Morphe M573. looks like this. And this I'm just going to pat first in the outer corner. I'm just going to lay the color where I want it to go and then blend inwards. I'm now going to go in with my Morphe M433 and I'm going to be taking this shade right here called Yabish. It's like a matte, cool toned kind of purple. It's like has a gray undertone to it. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to make it even deeper and like smokier and just all of that good stuff. And I'm taking this cool toned purple shade into the inner corners um, when I feel like I don't have much product left just so when we carve it out there is like some type of def definition. And I'm going to go back with my Morphe M504 taking the two sh um, brown warm shades that I took in the beginning and just blend it out. Okay, so I'm going to stop this right here. I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm going to go in with the Dose of Colors concealer brush. This is my favorite brush to carve out my cut creases with. And then my Tarte Shape Tape concealer in light neutral, which you can tell I'm clearly running out of. It's my favorite. Saturating my brush with a good amount of concealer so I don't have to dip back and forth. This is like, I have to like stop breathing really quick. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. You can blend it out with any brush you have, but I feel like my finger blends it out um, evenly. I pat it so it just blends out. And then what we'll do is make everything look very blended. We're going to take my Bedellium Tools 781. And I'm going to be taking the Yabish shade from... Um, pretty much and we're gonna blend it out oh. I'm just gonna blend it inwards just to make everything seamless and there you go so let's move on to my next eye which is my harder eye I'm not excited to be doing that eye like I've mentioned before my left eye is my difficult eye so let's take a breather I'm so scared I'm going to mess up on this eye. Okay. It's definitely harder to do it on this eye. I think that the more that I'm doing them, it's getting a lot easier to carve it out to make it look like a half circle. Because it's this eye is usually my most difficult eye, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. I'm definitely getting the hang of this eye. I'm just going to take my Bedellium Tools 781 with Yabish and I'm going to blend it out. To our lid shade, I'm going to be taking the Superstar Loose Pigment in Lifted, which is a very pretty light purpley color. Um, I'm, I like to pour it out onto the lid. It's like this. Fiddle Focus. 
So it looks like this. I'm going to take my Beach Cosmetics flat shader brush and I'm going to apply that on to the lid with it. I'm going to take the Rose Quartz um, priming spray. Just apply it onto the lid. And look how pretty this looks. Look, there's fairy dust going on in my eyes right now. I'm excited. You can ob you'd obviously don't need to spray to amplify it, but I love spraying it because it just makes it easier to apply. There's less fallout, but if you would love to spray it to use it without having to amplify the color, go for it. But I feel like this just has less fallout in my opinion. I'm going to go back in with my Bedellium Tools 781 and I'm going to be taking the same color Yabish and I'm going to blend that out as well. Okay, so after my face and <laughs> after my eyes, I'm just going to move on to my face for a little bit. I'm going to be taking my Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops Coconut Gel Highlighter. I'm going to um, take a little bit onto my hand. And I'm so excited because this is coming back for the summer. And I believe it's coming back in a darker shade as well. I'm just going to take my color pop. I don't know what um, brush this is, but it's like a small highlighting concealer brush. I'm just going to apply this in the high points of my cheeks. And then I'm going to blend out with my beauty blender, just adding some extra glow. Take my beauty blender. I'll be taking my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte um, Foundation in the shade 105 Natural Beige, and I'm going to take that in the center of my face. I'm going to go back with my Luxie 209 brush. And I'm just going to blend this out. And then I'm going to be taking my Marc Jacobs Shameless Youthful Look Foundation. Okay, I didn't get it right. And then I'm just going to apply it like one side first. Because I feel like it's easier for me to blend out that way. It doesn't like, it dries fast, but recently if I don't blend it out fast enough it like leaves kind of like marks and stuff and I don't want it to do that so I think the best way is just for me to apply the foundation one side at a time my wet and wild a uh, photo focus concealer in medium tawny I believe this is like a very similar shade to the NARS radiant creamy um, concealer in ginger but I ran out of that so this is what I'm using as of right now my favorite combo as of right now this is my uh, Tarte shape tip concealer in light neutral and light sand and I usually apply light sand first I do need a new one though because I'm scraping the edges. And I'm just going to blend it out. And now I'm just going to set my concealer. I'm going to be using the Cover FX uh, Matte Setting Powder. Taking my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in 120, I'm just going to dust it off. This is my Morphe E48. I'm just going to pat. Taking my Bedellium Tools um, 985, this dual fiber powder brush. Now we're going to bronze. I'm going to be, I'm going to be taking my Marc Jacobs Tantastic bronzer, the Omega bronzer one broke my mirror. Hmm. Actually, gonna be taking the Elf um, flawless face brush to bronze up my face, just because it's like a bigger brush. Then gonna be taking my 
NYX um, Highlight and Contour Pro Palette to contour using my MAC 109. I just like to take a tap into each color. Then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and my Cover Effects Matte Setting Powder and carve it out. Just to bake a little bit, I guess I will just apply some eyeliner. I'll show you what I'm doing, but I'm not going to do it on camera because it takes me a long time to do it on camera. I'm going to be applying my House of Lashes Iconic Eyelashes. And to tightline and also for my waterline, I'm going to be taking my Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon in Row Cocoa. And the mascara for today is going to be Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara in the waterproof version. So I applied my lashes and everything. I'm just going to go back in with my pretty much eyeshadow palette from ColourPop with my Morphe M432 taking Yubbish. And I'm just going to take a little bit of Got Cool It too. And I'm going to smudge that on the lower lash, lash line. And then I'm going to take my Dose of Colors. I love Dose of Colors brushes. They're amazing. I'm going to be taking the Dose of Colors um, shader brush. And I'm going to go back with my Dose of Colors big browns. And I'm going to take, what's the shade? Outdoorsy, the middle shade right here. And I'm going to blend it, um, pop it in the lower lashes so I can blend it out. Gives it a little bit of warmth. I'm going to highlight the inner corners. So I'm going to go back with pretty much once more. And I'm going to take my Dose of Colors pencil brush. And I'm going to be taking um, OTP right here, this purpley shade. And I'm going to spray the, what is this, rose quartz. And now I'm going to set my eyebrows using my Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. This is in medium brown. I'm going to apply a little bit of blush. Oh my gosh. So long, but this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Exposed. I love this color. So taking my Morphe M403, I'm just going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks. Highlight, I'm also going to go in with the ColourPop Luster Dust, and this is in Strobe Glow. This is one of their newer colors. I also ordered this when I ordered the, what's it called? What are these called? Superstar Loose Pigment. I hope these um, aren't as glitterly, glitterly, glittery as the ones, as the other ones. I only got strobe glow because I thought it'd be the only one that would match me that I'd wear all the time. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia A23 brush. Spray a little bit of the Venturine, I mean um, Rose Quartz. Ooh, that is pretty. It still does have like a glittery aspect to it, which I... I'm not a big fan of, but these are really nice. Okay, look how pretty that is. That is gorgeous, but it still does have like a bit of glitter to it. But you know, it's still good. Why does this side look more dramatic? I have to even this out. It's pretty. So I'm going to spray my face using the color Pop Rose Quartz. Um, this is the priming spray, but I'm just going to use it to spray it. Okay, so I have my hair down and I'm back. Obviously, I did already add my lip color, which I'll show you what I'm using. Um, this is the MAC World Lip Liner. And then on my lips, I'm wearing... Where is it? I'm wearing ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip in WYD. What are you doing? And I feel like it's a perfect combo for it. And then I did also add on a little bit of the Milani Baked Bronzer, and this is in Glow. And um, obviously my lower lashes, this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. So that is the end of my tutorial for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know down below what you would like to see in my next videos using the, I always forget, Superstar Loose Pigments. 
because like I said I did order all of them so I do have every color and I am I want to do something dramatic and bright and different um so yeah comment down below if you want to see anything from me from the loot star <laughs> what is that superstar loose pigments don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one